Hi there, this is Karen with inspiredbygram.com. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm gonna to be bringing you a tutorial on how I created this card. Now I did show this card on my one of my recent lives, but I'm gonna recreate it with you using the new Stampin' Up! blends, which are the skin tones. So it's the same layout, but just different coloring here. On this otter, I used crumb cake blends. So we'll be using something else today. So let's get started creating this really awesome otter card. So um, the stamp set is called Awesome Otters, of course. This can be earned with a $50 product order from my online store, inspiredbygram.com. Uh, the product order must be $50 or greater. And you can, if you put in a $100 order, you can earn this stamp set and the designer series paper I'm using, which is called, uh, um, Daffodil Afternoon. So let's go through what we'll need here. I've got my basic white envelope. I've got a stitched rectangle with basic white. I've got a one and three quarter inch circle. I've got a scrap of Daffodil Delight cardstock. Here's that free paper on the other side is really beautiful um, floral, but I'm gonna be using this side here as well. And it's cut two and a half by three and a half. I've got a panel of four by five and a quarter pool party, which was embossed in the bark embossing folder. The bark embossing folder is a 3D um, folder. So when I emboss this with my stamp and cut and emboss machine, I laid the cardstock this way to create that ripple effect of what maybe you would see at the ocean. And wouldn't we all want to be at the ocean this time of the year? Here's that die I used, um, and that was from Give It A Whirl. The card base is Pool Party, and it's cut five and a half by eight and a half, and I've already pre-scored it at four and a quarter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp um, first, and then we will do some coloring, and then we'll assemble as well. I do need to do a little bit of embossing too with my mini cut and emboss. So I'm using this otter here, which is the one in the ocean. Okay, and I'm just taking my Memento Black ink pad, inking that up, and then I'm gonna stamp in the center of the stitched rectangle, as straight as I can get. Okay, here he is. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna re-ink my stamp with a memento black, and I'm just gonna stamp Mr. Otter all the way down on the lower left corner of my envelope. The sentiment is going to be, you are otterly awesome. Here's my one and three quarter inch circle. I'm gonna use early espresso. And then I'm just going to stamp this right in the middle of that circle. I wanted to use the brown because we're using a little bit deeper brown in the otter today. All right, let's close this all up. Now, as you can see here are my examples of some of the skin tones. I'm gonna to be using three different ones. And this one right here is number 100. So they don't have color names, but um, you can see right here, hopefully it says SU100. I will write this um, next to it here. So 100, and that is going to be simply for his nose. So let me just color in his nose and we've got to do the other thing, or the other thing, the other nose on the envelope there. And I was just doing some little light taps. So that was number 100. Then I'm gonna blend the otter with 600. So this is 600 and 600. And then this one here is 500. So we'll be using 500, 600, and 100. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the darker one first, which is 600. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out because this is the first time I am coloring in this combination. So what I wanna do is I'm just gonna go around with light um, kind of brush strokes here, just kind of outlining the otter around 
the outside eye of him and around the water and then in along the face and the belly area. We'll give him a nice little shading down below here. Okay, now I'm going to cap this, slide it on horizontally. Now I am bringing in again, this is number 500, it's a lighter shade. And I'm just going to slowly go around his eyes, his forehead here. I love that we have so many options now of skin tones. You, you don't have to necessarily use them for skin. You can use them for otters, just like I'm using today. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry. While it's drying, I'm gonna use Daffodil Delight, and I just noticed I missed his ear, so that's no worry, I'm gonna go over it again. So I just colored in with Daffodil Delight. Let me go back over and color in his ear. So I want to give him a little bit more of a 600 blend. So I'm just going to go around again, just kind of around his face. And you can hopefully see that in certain areas, the otter is a little bit darker than in the other areas. So I just color in here. So I've got a lot of shading around his eyes. If you want to blend it even more, just go over with the light again. There's no rhyme or reason. Um, just whatever technique you use for blending, then use it. There's no right or wrong when you are blending. Okay, so that is um, his outer hair. Now I'm gonna take this, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in a little bit lighter blend here and I'm choosing 700. Okay, so this is 700. And I'm gonna color in his belly with number 700. It's got a pink effect, so hopefully Mr. Otter doesn't mind. But you can use so many different color combinations with the skin tone. And I think that looks fabulous. Even though it's got a, a kind of a pink hue to it, it still looks great. Now I am going to color in the water with some pool party, dark and light. So these little, little splash marks are the darker color. And then I'm gonna take the pool party and I'm just gonna go over the ripple effects where the water is kind of wavy. Okay, and now I'm gonna take my pool party light and the brush tip and I'm kind of laying this out where it's flat. So I'm just gonna kind of basically scribble like kids do, right? And I'm just gonna do all the way up here because that's where the water is. And then just kind of fill it in. He's so cute, right? Oh my goodness. All right, now let's give it some sparkle. So I'm gonna go over the, those little drops with my Winka Stella and with the ripple effect too. Let's give that water some sparkle because when the sun is shining on water, you always seem to see sparkle. So that's what the Winka Stella is going to do in this image here. And I know you probably can't see that, but I can and um, trust me, <laughs> it's great. You can always glitter up his eyes as well. I'm not going to stamp or color in the otter just because it's the same process. You don't need to see me do that again. All right, so now I'm gonna die cut with the mini cut and emboss. I love the mini cut and emboss because I just grabbed it. It's on the corner of my desk. It sits there so it's easy. It doesn't take up much space at all. And it's handy. All right, so I'm gonna use plate number three and then number two. And then I have my Daffodil Delight cardstock. I have my circle that resembles the sun from Give It a Whirl. And then I've got plate number three. 
We're just going to crank that right through the mini cut and emboss. It goes so super smooth. And then we can close this mini cut and emboss up. This is only $60, you guys. It's well worth it. And if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can purchase that for either 20 or 25% off, depending on um, your level with Stampin' Ups. So if you're just getting started out, that would be a 20% um, savings. All right, so let's look and see what this die just cut out. It's super fun. So here is my... This is the piece I'm going to be using for my son. It's like a scallop circle and it's got some stitching on it. And then this little circle here, I'm gonna save for another project. And I have this little tin cup here. So any dies that go, I cut that I don't use go in this for another project. Okay, now we're just going to assemble the card. So we've got our pool party. Again, that's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then here is the embossed panel, which is pool party, and it is cut four by five and a quarter. And I embossed it with the bark embossing folder going in the machine horizontally. And of course, my, <laughs> I should have checked. Oh, here we go. It's almost empty. I use so much adhesive. Okay, so now this is gonna get layered on to our card base horizontally, so we've got that ripple effect of the water. The next step is I'm going to add in some of the gingham um, ribbon, and this is bumblebee color, but with Stampin' Up! colors, it's um, they coordinate so well, so I've got Daffodil Delight, Crush Curry, and Bumblebee all in this card, so all different shades of yellows. So I'm just going to wrap this ribbon around and that's too much, so I don't wanna waste my ribbon. And then I'm just going to cut or cut, I'm gonna tie a bow over on the left side here. And if your ribbon kinda goes over, don't worry about it because you're gonna cover it up with the designer series paper and your stamped image. So don't worry too, too much about it. All right, so here's our bow. Let me just make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so that's pretty good. Use your ribbon scissors and let's just trim these off at an angle. You can see how that is twisting. Don't worry about it. If it bothers you so much, you can just take a piece of scotch tape and then just add the scotch tape to it if you find it's easier to work with. That way it's it's gonna stay put. All right, so now we've got this two and a half by three and a half designer series paper called After, uh, Daffodil Afternoon. I'm gonna take some of my scrap Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm gonna add five. I need five because this is a lighter um, piece of cardstock or a designer series paper is a little bit lighter than our regular cardstock, so it needs a little bit more um, support. So we'll just press those down. I'm going to take my uh, take your pick tool and take these backings off. A little bit harder when you have the kind of miss or different. Um, shapes as Tampa dimensionals, but it, it the take your pick tool works fabulously. All right, so now I'm going to just want to layer this right on kind of the front of the card, a little off to the left side, not too much though. All right, so we've got that one on there. Now we're going to take the Mr. Otter, we're going to flip him over, and we're going to simply add some Stampin' Dimensionals to Mr. Otter as well. I'm gonna add, hopefully I can get away with four. Let's see what we've got left on my sheet here. Okay, I got a little one left, so I'm just gonna put that one right in the middle. Again, press those really down um, securely, and then take your, um, take your pick tool and just dig in there and the backings there will come off onto that really sharp point there and it's a little bit quicker and faster. 
All right, so Mr. Otter is going to go on the front of the card. I want to see some of this gingham ribbon on the right side here. And he looks good, so we'll give him a good press. Now, to complete the sun, um, if you can see, this layer, the white layer, is higher than the designer series paper. So you're going to want to put a stamp and dimensional um, over here. Okay, I would suggest your mini stamp and dimensional. I've got those right here. And then I'm gonna use my take your pick tool just to kind of grab it. I would probably add, um, let me just see, I'm gonna figure it out again. Yep, so at 12 o'clock and then maybe uh, 2.30 and 10.30, like on a clock. And these, I'm just gonna peel these off because it's a little bit, um, these are so small, hopefully. Okay, then on this side here, you've got liquid glue. Okay, so let's bring this back in. Okay, there we go. Now remember that stamped circle, you are utterly awesome, is gonna put get put right here. And that's simple. All you need to do is take one Stampin' Dimensional, put it in the middle, and then it's gonna go right over that sun. Okay. Now we're going to embellish with these beautiful iridescent rhinestones. They're basic jewels. They sparkle and shine. They come in three different colors. And I'm gonna add five of them to my card. So I've got one of the larger ones down there. And let's add another large one over into this blue space here. And then I'm gonna go with the medium size. And I'm gonna put some right down here on the edge of the water. And then I'm gonna grab a little tiny one and put the little tiny one, let's see, one, two, three, four, and five. Oops, I want it over here. Okay, so that is today's card with the You Are Otterly Awesome. I hope you learned something new today. Again, I'm gonna go back and I will color in this otter here, but I can show you what it looks like in crumb cake. All right, so let me just put these side by side so you can kind of see what they look like. So here's the one with the new Stampin' Blends in the skin tones. And then here is Crumb Cake. This was stamped in base uh, the Memento Black. And then this is stamped in Early Espresso. So both cards look fabulous. And uh, for any of your Stampin' Up! products, you can visit my website at inspiredbygram.com. Thanks for much. Thanks so much for watching and you have a great day.